Hi guys, just a very quick video today um, to uh, show you the Lee um, Colette sizing die and uh, just compare it to uh, one of its rivals, the uh, Hornady. Um, this is a custom grade die, perhaps not the first of comparisons because the uh, Hornady is two to three times as expensive as the uh, the Lee, but uh, for the purposes of this video, it will do. Um, but really, I'm just hoping to show you that you know if you've set up the the Lee Collect die properly and you're using it in a decent press, um, it will actually function very well. Um, it tends to get a real slagging uh, on the forums for some reason. I really believe it's it's undeserved. So what I've got is uh, six pieces of brass here. Um, this is just. Uh, fired Lapua 243 Winchester brass um, so I'm going to resize three of them uh, in the uh, lead eye and another three of them in the Hornady and uh, we'll measure it afterwards and see what comes out best so just in case anyone thinks I'm giving one a fair chance just mix up the brass put it back in And first we'll use the uh, the lead die. Just make sure you can see this. The lead die has one real advantage in that it doesn't have a button, so you don't actually need to uh, uh, use any lubricant when you're sizing at all. There's no chance of it uh, getting the die stuck. So. Done. So now I'll put in the Hornady. And with the Hornady, because it has a button, of course, you need to use a, uh, a little bit of lubricant on it. There we go, sized. So I'll bring this round and we'll give them a quick measure. Okay, we had the horn of these at the front. So the first horn of the And that's not bad, that's about four thou of run out on that neck. That one's a bit worse. It's about five thou of run out. Again, that's about five thou run out. I mean, that's not disastrous. That would produce perfectly good hunting ammunition, but it's it's not great either. Here's the first of the lees. Basically, any variation there is just my fingers moving up and down on the brass. That's certainly under one thou. Second one. Again, that's under a thou. And the third one. Again, that's well under a thou. Again, that's just my finger moving up and down here. It's 
almost perfect brass. So there we go. Uh, the Lee tool was producing pretty much perfect brass and certainly uh, much, much, much better than a tool costing several times more. I hope that will uh, give you something to think about. Thanks for now. Bye.